Before we get into actually writing out our Angular components, I want to do one quick thing. And this is not a step that's required, but you're probably going to want to do something like this in your applications to give it a good look and feel. And this is adding Bootstrap to our project. It's really easy to do and we're gonna walk through this quickly and then the rest of our time building out our components, we can use Bootstrap in all of our HTML and CSS files. So the first thing we need to do is jump into the front end project and we just need to run npm install dash dash save so we save it locally and we're gonna say Bootstrap. And this is gonna go ahead and install this for this project. and it looks like we're good to go. So it's installed. If we jump up to node modules and kind of jump down through here, we should see Bootstrap. And inside of Bootstrap, you'll see a distribution folder. Inside of there, you'll see a CSS, and then you'll see a Bootstrap CSS and a bootstrap.min.css. So that's really what we're interested for in because there's one more quick step. We've installed it locally, but we haven't really told Angular yet that we want to use it. So if we jump into our angular-cli.json, we have this styles array here, and I just want to reference that. So we're going to go node modules bootstrap, and that was in the dist CSS folder bootstrap.min.css so as long as there's no spelling mistakes this is this I think we should be good to go so that's all there is to get bootstrap installed and with that we can start building out our components and we will do that in the next lesson